placement? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so can you please start with an introduction, Yogesh? Okay. So good morning, ma'am. Uh, my name is Yogesh Sani. Uh, I'm currently I'm finally a mechanical engineering student from NIT Jaipur, and I was born and brought up in Churu, Rajasthan. And talking about my strength, ma'am, uh, I am a self-disciplined and preservant person who always love to learn new things. And talking about my academics, so I have completed a two minor projects, and my major project is under the project scoping stage. And uh, I have in my college, I have participated as well as organized many events under the umbrella of uh, NSS, CAE, and uh, SAE Society of MNIT Jaipur. And recently, I completed my summer internship from Jindal Stainless Limited. Okay, done. So, uh, you have completed your internship recently, right? So, yes, ma'am. Yeah, what was your role and responsibilities in that particular like internship? So, ma'am, uh, it was an on-campus internship. So, uh, and the duration of internship was two months. So, uh, the first week, uh, we had the induction program in which we learned the entire the stainless steel making process. And after that, uh, the project was allotted to me. And the, my goal of my project was to enhance the uh, effectiveness of the cooling tower in the spatial product division of Jindal uh, Stainless. So uh, I have completed that project. And after completing that project, uh, I, have, I have completed the project before the timeline. So uh, uh, I got the chance to uh, do another project also. So I have completed the two projects there. Okay, so the projects you did and the task that was provided to you were doing that task in group or you were the individual one doing that task? Ma'am, could you repeat? I'm just asking that the tasks that were allotted to you during the time of the internship, you were the only one handling the task or the task was in a group? Ma'am, uh, I was only handling, means the project was allotted to me, but uh, they are the coordinator within the, in the students, like the junior managers and manager as coordinator. Uh, but by, uh, they also uh, helped me to complete this. Okay. So, uh, Yugesh, if I ask you in terms of soft skills, what skills you have developed in yourself so that if you enter any of the organization, okay, like you're in your last year, right? Okay, okay. So, after this, you will be exploring different opportunities in private, yes. public sectors or different sectors, yes. right? So, how you think that what soft skills you have possessed in yourself or you have improved in yourself, which will give you advantage if you'll join any of the organizations? So, ma'am, uh, I have uh, participated or organized many events. So, that is a reflection of my leadership and the uh, leadership and the uh, acumen of uh, working with the different, different people. Because when you are uh, working in a, a society or in a club of your college, so there uh, you have to work with the lots of people. So, and uh, you have, and when you organize any events, so you have to uh, also, uh, uh, you have to put at the time management also. So by working in the uh, different clubs, I developed a time management leadership and the teamwork skill. And also, uh, sometimes you have to motivate your colleagues, your uh, juniors. So it's also, uh, I have also developed the communication skills so that I can, infl I can influence my juniors to work more. So uh, yes, ma'am, these, uh, these skills I have developed by working in the and uh, college events. And I have also participated like in the dance, uh, group dance and the REM folk in the department day. That uh, gives me, uh, that uh, gives me, uh, and uh, that takes my fear of uh, of stage. Like now I don't have the stage fear because I have uh, participated in the many events on the stage. So these are the skills I have developed. And these are the necessary for any uh, uh, industry that uh, you have to be uh, good at time management. You have to be uh, people, uh, you have to be good at people management. And you have also the good communication because uh, after working one or two years, you will be promoted to the manager. So you have to guide the people. So these are the skills will definitely will help me in the future. Okay, that. So you gave my next question as hey, you've mentioned that you work in many of the clubs, right? Like any yes. clubs or cultural fest, 
like the positions you wrote are is a joint secretary, publicity secretary, and all, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. So a person who has joined the clubs and who is handling a club, he might face, he or she might face different challenges and conflicts, right? If you are working yes. with a team, it it is like yes. obvious that you'll find challenges and conflicts, right? Yes. So yes. you might also have faced some of the challenges and conflicts, right? So Yogesh, yes. what is your strategy and what are your approaches towards these type of situations and how you think that you will develop all these things within yourself so that you can be prepared for the working in different corporate sectors? Okay. So ma'am, uh, I would like to give example of SAE club. So in that club, we are the 20 members in that club. So, and we were, uh, we were uh, manufacturing the IC and we were participating in an event. So, at that time, uh, so th there were the many, uh, so then we have the, uh, like, conflict between us. So, what we do, so, so uh, first we understand that what is the uh, a problem on which we are uh, conflicting each other. So, we discussed, we uh, arranged a meeting of all the members and discussed one by one the, what is the problem of each person like why they are not accepting the other's idea so by uh, taking the all the suggestion from the uh, team members we decided that these things should be uh, done like this and these thing, uh, these things should be done like this so after hearing all the person we decided to uh, move on the uh, topic or so this strategy we developed finally Okay, that. So, Yogesh, uh, you are currently working at a college level, right? Like the yes. people you are working with or the clubs you are working in, that were you working in at a college level, right? Yes. But yes. if after campus placement, you will be placed in a very good organization, yes. be it industrial sector, corporate sector, okay. So, the environment will be totally different. Yes, being a fresher, you will meet some freshers there, but on the other side, you will meet different, uh, like highly qualified professionals as well, right? So, how you think you will adjust yourself in that particular environment, Yogesh? So, ma'am, uh, I think I am. I will. I am a good at the ad adaptability. My adaptability skill is good. Like uh, during the internship at Jindal Standards Limited, I have to like my mentor is at the vice president position, and my coordinator are also very senior position. Like they are uh, DGM and the manager. So, uh, I was. Uh, very uh, means uh, I easily handle the situation there. Like sometimes, uh, and I also uh, have seen that how they are managing the conflict there and how they are interacting with each other, like from their juniors. So uh, uh, what they do, they, if they find any problems in during the manufacturing process, they immediately call a meeting and resolve the issue. And they were very supportive. So. Uh, I think uh, I, I will not face any problem by working the senior prof uh, professional. Uh, if uh, anything that I uh, don't know, so uh, I would ask him to uh, teach me because I uh, because uh, you don't you cannot learn ev uh, uh, everything from your college. You have to learn from uh, when you work in industry. So I'm very I'm open to learn from my senior. Okay, so done. My last question to you is, uh, like, Yugesh, you are com like you'll be completing your bachelor's, right? Mm -hmm. So you are moving towards campus placement thing. So ultimately, just asking for this, ki ultimately you want to go with masters ahead, or you want to work in an industrial sector or in corporate sector? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't have plan to go in the masters. I would like to work in an organization that. Uh, uh, that that, uh, that give me a uh, a wide uh, spectrum to work in different different fields and uh, also the learning experience. Why not masters? Uh, so ma'am, uh, I don't want to like uh, I want to work in an organization and uh, I want to build the uh, I want to contribute in an organization and while uh. Uh, joining organization and learning from organization I want to grow myself not by the masters like okay now. so Yogesh now I'll just give you the feedback okay yes, uh, you have a good confidence let me say this okay uh, so you as a person you have developed a good confidence and communication skills right mm -hmm. two three things that I want to just tell you that you have to keep in mind whether you are going for any of the interview, whether it is public sector, private sector, government, 
anything. Okay. okay. First of all, eye contact ka bohat zada you have to keep in mind. Okay. See, I don't know that you are giving me this interview online and this is a, like a video call. So that is why sometimes it happens like the yes, camera is not at the right position. And you are not able to make a proper yes, eye contact. Okay. But this is my recommendation. Okay. This is just my, like, I'm just guiding you for this. Ki when you'll be giving an interview yes, for sir. any of the organization, yes. make sure if there is an interviewer or the panel members, you don't have to look down and here or there. You have to just make okay. a proper eye contact. Okay. Second thing, you are very, you have a good knowledge. Okay. You have a good knowledge. Uh, technically, I am not the one. I'm just taking the HR snap. Okay. So technically, you have to go with some other mentor. Like on the basis yeah. of your soft skills in HR, you have a good knowledge about yourself. Okay. okay. Little bit, we have to work on our presentation and answer framing. Okay. You yes. know the answer best. But you, in between, yes. you get confused in uh, framing yes. the answers. Okay. That's yes. That I can uh, read out from your face. That nervousness. Yes. Dumpsy that comes on your face and you are like a little bit nervous. Am I going yes, right or wrong? Okay. Yes, so sir. this is something, this is just coming because of the answer framing. Okay. So we have answer framing pe we have to work. Okay. Uh, Rest good with knowledge, good with communication skills. Last thing is when I asked you the justification, why not masters? Wo justification, yes, I think we have thought it. So it not Yes, okay. यही होगा जो आप किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का इंटरव्यू दे रहे हो गेश एकदम से कोई ऐसा क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे बट हमने कंफ्यूज नहीं होना आपने मास्टर्स क्यों नहीं करी इसका सिर्फ ये रीजन था कि योगेश को अपनी जो अभी तक की बीटेक की नॉलेज थी और एकेडमिक्स की नॉलेज थी उसको एक बार प्रैक्टिकली और टेक्निकली देखना था कॉर्पोरेट लाइफ में जाके कि हाउ इट वर्क्स ऑन सी दैट इज नो एंड फॉर स्टडीज पढ़ाई के लिए कोई एंड नहीं होता कोई एज नहीं होती आप कभी भी कर सकते हो ठीक है, so the only yeah. justification to this is मुझे पता है, आप देखो मुझे ये बताओ योगी शाह आपने पढ़ा इसलिए करी क्योंकि अभी आप explore करना चाहते हो अपना public sector या private sector, right? तो हमारा answer सिर्फ इतना yeah. होगा at this point I just want wanna explore my knowledge in terms of technicalities and practical. Okay, firstly okay. I just want to enhance myself as a person technically and practically. Then definitely if I'll get a chance I'll definitely look towards the master's program. Done. हमें मुंह पे ही ना नहीं okay. करनी हमें मुंह पे ही हा नहीं कर बिकॉज़ अभी आपको नहीं पता ना 3 4 साल बाद हमारी सिचुएशन क्या होगी राइट right? yeah. क्या पता दो तीन साल बाद मन कर जाए मास्टर्स करने का क्या पता हम एक दो साल बाद इतने अच्छे सेटल हो जाएं जॉब लाइफ में कि हम उस तरफ जाएं ना सो जस्ट टू क्लेरिफाई दिस मेरा अब प्रायोरिटी वाला मोटिव क्या है कि मुझे जाना है एक्सप्लोर करना है ठीक है आई जस्ट वांट टू ग्रो माय करियर एंड जस्ट आई वांट टू गो इनटू कॉर्पोरेट एंड इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर टू सी हाउ आई एम ग्रूमिंग माय सेल्फ ओके एंड that's not a point. If in future I feel like I want to go for masters, I'll definitely take that opportunity. Okay. And ma'am, uh, uh, why, uh, why you want to join the BPCL, not the private companies? Like, in our company, there private companies. What is the answer? Why BPCL? Why, uh, why not private? Yes, two things. One is private sector and public sector. प्राइवेट सेक्टर आपको ऐसे नहीं करियर ग्रोथ भी देता है फाइनेंशियल ग्रोथ भी देता है जो पब्लिक सेक्टर होता है ना वो आपको एक्सपोजर ज्यादा देता है वो एक डोमेन के साथ-साथ आपको बाकी बहुत डोमेन्स की नॉलेज देता है ओके मी बीइंग अ ओके विल टेक एग्जांपल मी बीइंग अ एचआर मैं एक प्राइवेट सेक्टर में चली जाती तो मुझे सिर्फ एक एचआर के रूप में देखा जाएगा अगर मैं पब्लिक सेक्टर में चली गई ना तो मेरी अकाउंटेबिलिटीज मेरी नॉलेज मेरा एक्सपोजर वो बढ़ जाएगा क्योंकि मुझे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स में वर्क करने को देंगे राइट तो अगर मुझे एक्सप्लोर करना है I'm not saying this that private sector is good or public sector is good. This is my personal choice. Mm-hmm. I feel like that my financial growth is also a part of life, ka, but I have to take exposure. Pehle. And I think yes. public sector is the one, and if you have any other public sector, if you have an organization, aati, you just have to say this, that I had thought that I want to explore myself with different domains. And I yes. want to get knowledge thoroughly and practicalities thoroughly. So I think that public sector is not a good sector which is my financial growth is second priority but my first priority which is career growth is my private sector and public sector. That's it. We don't have to say anything. 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 The way that you feel that why I want to do, do, do this, that's it. Because when you say that, you can say that confidently. Bolo. Done? ऐसे ही लगाते रहो स्नैप्स ठीक है तो आपको थोड़ी-थोड़ी नॉलेज मिलती रहेगी हर बारी कोई नई चीज आपको फीडबैक मिलेगी तो आप ग्रूम होते रहोगे डन ओके ओके थैंक यू सो मच योगेश